Let's talk about prints on your fabric. I have three different examples of fabric here on the table. One is a solid fabric, this pink. One has a print, these lemons. And this other print with these cute little puppies on here. Each of them are a little different. I think the one that we notice the most is the solid. It does not have any design on the fabric. And what that means is it does not matter as much about what direction our patterns lay in. So I have this heart shape cut out. And you can see if I put my heart this way, my pink is gonna go that way. If I put my heart this way, my pink is gonna go that way. So you're starting to get the understanding that it does not really matter which direction I put my heart in. It's gonna get the same pink. What we will need to pay attention to is the grain line. If you remember when we were talking about our selvage and our cut ed edges and our grain line, and that will be told to you on your pattern tissue when you cut it out um, from your pattern. So the solids, you don't have to worry as much about your prints. Let's come on over to these lemons over here. You notice these lemons are sort of going in all sorts of different types of direction. When I put my heart down here, you're gonna probably notice that lemons are still going in all different directions. And if I move it to turn to the side, it's still going in all different directions. So again, it's a little less important about which way my pattern goes on a print like this because the lemons, again, are going in all sorts of different directions. What we'll need to pay attention to, and you can probably guess, is the grain line. So making sure everything is lined up appropriately with the selvage edges. Our last piece of fabric I want to show you is our little puppies. And you can see when I put the heart shape down on the fabric now, you might be thinking it doesn't look right anymore. So these puppies are now going across and up and down the heart and that won't look right. What we really want to do is make sure our puppies are going in this direction so the top of the heart and the top of the puppies are all going to be going the same way. So if I turn my heart this way, you're going to say like the puppies are going sideways. That's not right. If you turn it this way, now the puppies are going upside down and that's not right. So it's going to be really important to pay attention how we're going to lay our fabric out to make sure it is going in the correct direction with your pattern Unless you really want your puppies to go upside down, you're going to want to take some consideration into which way your grain line is going to go and which way your print is going to go. This print happens to go with the straight grain line. So here's my selvage, and all my puppies are going with the grain line here. So if I was to put my heart down like this and my grain line was going in this direction, we're in business. So every pattern is going to be a little different and they'll give you some specific directions on how to make sure your one-way print which is what this is called because it's going in all one direction and make sure that you line it up properly so your pattern and your project will look correct.